Shine it. Shine it up. Ah, this crushed blue is absolutely beautiful. Ah. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man Jay. So, I have learned a lot about this phone in the last three days. So, this is in fact the Samsung A31. And the Samsung A31 is a device that I've been super excited about. I mean, I got to tell you, I know there's a lot of phones coming out right now, and I will, just so you know, at the recording of this video, it is August 3rd, uh, and uh, I know the Pixel 4a launch is now, <laughs> so uh, I'll be covering that though, so stay tuned for that. But for right now, there are still a bunch of phones out there that are cost even less than the 4a, uh, and they're still going to give you some good features. Now, um, while most of these phones probably can't stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the, the 4a in a lot of areas, they do hold their own, and one thing they have to their advantage is that they cost less. So depending on who you are, you'll determine what you want to purchase. But for now, we're not going to talk about the 4a anymore. We're going to focus on this great phone right here that you can purchase from wirelessplace.com. So be sure to hit wirelessplace.com to determine whether or not you want to pick up this device for $219 of your hard-earned money. But let me convince you. Let me, there's a few things that I can show you if you just allow me to, uh, and this phone is really good. So the first thing I want to start with uh, is the camera. And man, oh man, I am actually surprised at how well this camera did in some of these settings around the house and this lower lighting. So when I look at photos from a camera, I, I often look at the detail and how it's producing the colors and if they look exactly or close to uh, what we're actually looking at. So um, I took a picture of this bowl right here uh, and it's it's got different tones in it that some cameras I've seen have struggled with. And obviously I'll take a picture of one of my favorite hats. I've got a lot of hats. Uh, but that's one of my favorites and it's here because I wear it a lot, but the camera produced the colors in my opinion spot on now one thing I noticed about this particular camera these cameras on the rear the main shooter is it produces Portrait shots very well all on its own. I don't have to do anything depending on where I am by the subject that I'm taking a photo of this camera actually produces some fantastic photos. I mean, I honestly wasn't expecting that for 219 bucks, but wow. Now the front camera is kind of lacking when it comes to uh, photos, but it is still there. And the rear camera obviously does fantastic. So with that being said, you will in fact love the rear cameras on this device, hands down. Um, battery. Now, as you can see here, I'm down to about 9%. If I can get you to look at that. Uh, right up there. I'm down to about 9%. And I took screenshots prior to this video because I've been using this for three days straight. I charged it up and my usage gradually got more. I thought, like, you'll see through the charts and the scales that I'm going to show here that I start to use it more and more. And wow, today it finally decided to conk out just a little bit. The first day, I did the setup, I, I toyed around with it for maybe less than an hour. The second day, I gave it a little bit more use, uh, probably almost three hours. And then today, uh, pretty much I've been on it since, yeah, I've gotten like six hours today. So total about nine hours of screen on time and 72 hours worth of usage on this device. Just under three days uh, and nine hours or more you could get from this device with this 5,000 milliamp hour battery inside, guaranteed that is more than enough for almost everybody. Now, some of you guys probably think, oh, how is it some phones with 5,000 milliamp hour batteries do so much better than other devices? Well, that's optimization in software because, and in the processor too, has to play a part, but um, some phones just do better. Uh, with smaller batteries, you know, there's there's phones out there that have better battery life than this phone But they have smaller batteries. It's about that optimization Optimization is key and the software and the processor and the RAM all these things play a part You can find some phones where it's just a rogue app just running wild behind the scenes And you don't even know it and you wake up and your battery's drained overnight and speaking of standby time This phone has great standby time there there are times where it just kind of leveled you wouldn't even think I was using the phone but when I set it down overnight, um, 
wow. Wow is, an, wow is the word I can use. The, the battery, the standby time is great. You, you, you're going to... You're going to not have issues. You shouldn't have any problems with this battery life. You've got 6 gigs of RAM. You've got the MediaTek 6758 or something like that. I forgot what it is. It's a MediaTek processor. And I kind of shunned on that. I kind of frowned on that at first. But using it in day-to-day -day performance, no issues. But battery life with the RAM, with the processor, is a good match. And that's just what it is. Now, speaking of performance, the processor... I was kind of iffy about it. I was like, ah, you know, psh, nah, this isn't gonna, this is gonna do well. But to my surprise, it's actually pretty good. Uh, you know, I try not to frown on a processor just because it's MediaTek, and I've definitely steered completely away from MediaTek. It's meaning talking bad about them. They have stepped their game up big time. They have so many processors now that battle and rival Snapdragon processors and other processors. Um, on paper uh, with benchmarks, but in day-to-day -day tasks, they're right up there now. They are there. And this phone, they chose to put a MediaTek processor inside, and I have no quarrels with it. It's actually really solid. So using this phone um, for three days straight, and I'm not going to stop. I'm just giving you this 72-hour update here. And even if you think, I mean, I've had the phone for officially three days, and you're probably watching this on the third or fourth day, but nonetheless, this phone can go for three days on battery. It's going to perform well. It looks good. I mean, if I could just shine it up for you. This, I showed you in my initial unboxing video that the phone has like that shimmer. Uh, and it is just beautiful. This is the crushed blue or whatever it is. And this is just nice. This, this looks like a blue S20. It's what it looks like. It's, I mean, Samsung's phones look alike. I mean, if you think about it. This phone has an in-screen fingerprint reader. It also has facial recognition. It has everything a person could possibly want when it comes to flagships, I guess, if you will. You've got the design and hardware. You've got the cameras. You've got the battery. You've got the performance. What else do you want? Uh, you also have a headphone jack, which is something that LG norm right now holds the crown because everyone's taking away their headphone jacks and quote unquote flagships big time are doing it. So LG has taken a hold of that, putting it in their flagships and they're supposedly not flagships, but this is in fact a really good phone. It's the velvet. So I feel like Samsung with all the reach that they have, who are they competing with at this point? I mean, they're just kind of, they're doing a Motorola. Motorola is that company that has so many phones across the table and they're so similar. You wonder, like, which one should I choose? Now's the time where you can just lay it on the table and look at screen size, price. Pretty much that's what you need to do because all these phones are right in line with each other. Now, one thing I hadn't discussed a lot of in this video is the display. And the display is, in fact, fantastic. Let's look at one of my latest videos here. Personal speaker. So, uh, and the good part about this, this one is display, it's wireless. So, it's beautiful. Um, this will run you about 59 bucks. And the speaker and is really a single bottom firing speaker. And, you know, this is this is one of those times where, you know, depending on in the screen, oh my gosh, the screen has that extra bright feature. It gets so bright. I can bear, there we go. <laughs> Let me get, get it up here. It, it gets so bright. Wow. It gets bright. And it has that extra bright feature on the display. And I, I think that you guys, when, you know, watching this screen, the full screen display, some of you guys are kind of deterred by the um, uh, cut out at the top of the camera. But I'm, I'm not deterred by that. I, I feel like this is the way it's going to be when it comes to um, cameras or cameras on the front of the screen, unless they're going with the side portion off to the side. Most people are putting this cameras like this in the center. Uh, and, you know, it's just what it is. It's a design thing. You have to determine whether or not you want to invest in it. Because if you don't want to invest in something like this, you very well can invest in other Samsung phones with the cameras off to the side. And I've reviewed a lot of them. So, I want to give you guys a follow-up on this thing, man. This this has got to be one of the most beautiful devices when it comes to a, a, almost a complete package, if you will. A lot of phones can't hold that title, and, and this is one of those phones that, depending on who the consumer is, this is going to be 
the complete package for them for sure. So it's your man Jay. Let's get out of here and take a look at this. Let me just shine this. Shine it up. Ah, this crushed blue is absolutely beautiful. It's your man Jay. I love, love, love the way this looks on this device. I'll see you guys in the next video. This is a killer device. Remember to hit wirelessplace.com to um, get yours if you decide to do it. The link's in the description. And be sure to check all the links in the description because there's lots of discount codes down there and lots of discounts for you. More coverage later on. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.